hey thanks for being here all right let's mix these two ingredients together Ooh, peeling this half is not the best people i'm not lying it's not i'm preparing for the pillow facial mask so i got this recipe online to use um ordering juice and um gelatin okay then to them or flavored gelatin squeeze the water out into this bowl actually this recipe call for four tablespoons of orange juice to two tablespoons of gelatin so i'm going to measure my orange juice right now That's one tablespoon. Okay, so I have roughly like two tablespoons. So instead of using two tablespoons of gelatin, I'm just going to be using one. I'm going to be warming it up using this my super super hot hot plate. Longer stays, um, the thickness began to reduce and it has become really thin than it was before. It has become really thin right now. Now, before I started applying it on my face, I let it cool down to the temperature I know that I can handle, but not extremely cool otherwise it's going to harden up and you won't be able to take it out to apply it anymore you will have to take it back to the heat and thin it out then let it cool again before you start applying so you don't really want that you want to gauge the timing properly so by the time you finish applying it you will still have some little temperature in it also you want to be careful not to let it touch your eyebrows or your edges otherwise you'll be risking losing your brows or your edges <laughs> nobody wants that <laughs> okay so just make sure you coat your face properly you can go over it like three times coating it so you can have a very strong hold especially when you want to peel it off well 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 so the instruction says to leave it to completely dry and it's been way over one hour now and it's completely dry and i'm casted i can't even open my mouth properly to talk i feel like a, a robot right now so now i'm going to try to take it off to fill it all that's the word Oh my goodness. I hope I'm not going to fill out my skin. Shit. Oh, 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 this caught my hair. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh my god. I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose my edges. I'm going to lose my edges. Pulling it against the direction of my hair actually saves my edges. Yeah. After all the pillow drama, I went to the bathroom to wash my face up with warm water and uh, we're here. Yeah, and I think it works. I had some whitish stuff around that my chin area, then my two sides, very close to my hair. And looking at it in the middle right now, I cannot see them anymore. Uh, they are more like dead skin or something. They were white like patches, but... I find them no more. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I don't have anything here anymore. So I think it works, and um, and I think I, I should be doing it like once a week. Well, I bought it for five hundred naira from a bakery shop, and then the orange. Okay, I bought two oranges. I had one already. Um, I bought two for fifty naira, so it's pretty cheap. Right now, I'll go ahead to apply these two oils that has been doing so wonderful for my skin it has been performing wonderful things to my skin and i recommend these two oils so well just turmeric oil and neem oil i have actually been using these two oils before this is my first try of diy peel off mask okay so this has greatly reduced my breakouts and reduced the spot the breakouts was leaving behind and if there is any oils that I would recommend for skin and um, face and all that, I would say turmeric and neem oil. They are holy grails. Um, thank you for watching. Um, let me know if you try this out. It is pretty cheap, so let me know if you try it out and if it works for you. And if you also have any recipe for facial mask, um, I am so willing to try. And if you have anything to if you have any advice for me on breakouts and all i will be so willing to take it so thank you and please comment like um share and most importantly don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in my next video bye